didn't I tell y'all what they was going to do when election season run, uh, comes around? They was going to start talking that same bullshit that they always spew when it comes to trying to gather the black vote. They try to play on the black community's trauma. They try to tug on those, those heartstrings. They try to remind you of your PTSD. They want you to remain emotional because it's easier to control a group of people when they're emotional. They know, they know how to do that. The left knows how to do that. And that's what they did with that Forbes article that was released and then taken down. They knew what they was doing. They tried to spin a narrative with that article to make you think or to play on the fact that you think that the Republican Party is racist, quote unquote. But all they did was show the fact that one, that they think the black community is stupid. Two, they showed the fact that they are fucking racist and they stereotype black people to make it seem that all to make it seem that we all have the same type of experience but peace and blessings to everybody out there welcome back to the fake woke podcast this is your boy bobby villain i am back with another video they want us to believe that we all have the same experience they want us to be like a monolithic group they want to box us in into this they want to box us in, in, in into like this this marginalized narrative that we're all the same that's why when joe biden sat there and said if you don't vote for me you're not black that meant something to me personally now i'm not just talking about the left and i keep saying that i'm not just talking about democrats the right does the same thing, and that's why they cannot tally up the black vote. That's why when it comes to their approach, they fucking suck. And I'm using profanity because this grinds my gears. So much so that I actually do get angry, and I actually do get passionate. Because there are people that believe in this system wholeheartedly and they haven't woken up and they probably won't. And that's why we in the position that we're in. And that's why we will remain in the position that we're in. Because people don't see between the lines. Now I forgot. Um, what blog site on Instagram posted the article? I think it was like Spiritual Word or some shit like that. I don't know. Again, excuse my French. It annoys me when I see that the political grip is targeting our community. And we tend to fall for it every time. Y'all know that the Democratic Party is in trouble. Y'all see that the Democratic Party is in trouble. That's why they rolling out the Whippy Goldbergs. That's why they rolling out the Van Jones. That's why they rolling out the Maxine Waters. To try to bring back the black community. That's why they rolling them out. They rolling out their Negro Wranglers. 
They sat there and they told them, we cut you a check for a reason. Go get us that black vote by any means. Make them believe that Biden can still run. And you seeing it in real time. You seeing it in real time. My job is not to wake you up. I speak to the people that already see what I see. I don't have time to wake you up. I'm not your savior. I'm not your guide in light. You got to want to see what I see. And if you don't see, if you don't want to see it, you're not going to see it. You're going to be like the rest of these buffoons. The visor, the visor poppies. The Moderna mommies sitting there trying to talk about deep, deep state conspiracies now in 2024. Four years ago, you was on the bandwagon wearing a mask, talking about you better wear your mask. Now you're talking about this uh, uh, assassination attempt was staged, which I highly doubt. I've already told you what I think about this shooting, about this attempt. Okay? Charlie Indigo Alpha or the CIA put their best foot forward the other day, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I should say, to get that man up out of here. The FBI put their best foot forward to get that man up out of there. The deep state, for some reason, don't want Donnie T in office again. Maybe he's actually a cog in the machine. Maybe he is. And that's why they running these bullshit-ass articles like the Forbes ran and then had to take down because of backlash, because of people like me sitting there pointing it out. Y'all showed y'all hand. The Democratic Party always showed their hand, and people don't pay attention. And if you didn't see the article, I'm going to read the article off to you. To you. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you the screenshot of the article that they're talking about that they had to pull down. Because it stirred up too many people. Had too many people outraged about their approach and how they chose to approach this situation. I don't know why I'm on this page. This is not the right page. Where is it at? Give me a second. Let me find this article real quick. Tomorrow, I'll probably talk about the shooter. This is like a three-part series. This is ridiculous on how much information they're trying to roll out to distract people. But here it is right here. This is the article I'm talking about. This is the screenshot of the article. The Forbes list article. Will surviving gunfire be Donald Trump's next appeal to black voters? They already set the stage. Sean Harper, you already showed your cards. You already showed what you was trying to do. You was trying to tug on the black community's heartstrings by thinking that everybody either experienced some type of gunfire or had somebody within their family experience some type of gunfire. Newsflash, Forbes. Not only black people experience violence through gunfire. Not only black people have been shot at and survived. Or shall I say Sean Harper? Let's look up Sean Harper. Let's see how let's see what Sean Harper looked like, right? Because 
what the Democratic Party is good at, right? They're good at rolling out their coons, just like the Republican Party. The Republican Party love to roll out their coons. Those bourgeoisie Negroes. To wrangle up the black vote and look. Niggas so happen to be gay. It's always those alphabets. Now, I apologize to my black women, but it's also y'all too. The tap dancing Negroes. They, they brainwash y'all to do their bidding. The token Negro on the conservative side. They brainwash these niggas to do their bidding. Because they know how emotional black people are. How emotional the black community are, is. And this nigga... This nigga is supposed to be a DEI expert. If you are, if you don't know what DEI means, DEI means diversity, equity, and inclusion. That's why he called himself a DEI expert. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Let me go down to this video real quick. Where's that? Where's that? I know they didn't take the shit down. Where's that? Is this it? No. Right here, equity center, equity in the center, right here. No, that's not it. God damn, I didn't put out so many damn videos. But you get the point. Here it is right here. Corporate uh, corporate equity, equity index. DEI. The corporate so social credit score. They rolled out their token Negro. He labeled himself an expert in DEI. Then he, then he types up some bullshit-ass article trying to relate to the black community or coerce the black community that that was Trump's next move. And I'll be damned if the Republican Party is stupid enough to take that route. I hope not. After calling it out. This is sick. They played their hand. They showed who they are. They showed who they are. If this is if this don't convince you that the Democratic Party is a bunch of undercover races, I don't know what the I don't know what to do to convince you. I'm really not supposed to be convincing you, but you should be able to see this bullshit. Now what you going to say? I'm still going to vote for him. It's better than voting for Donald Trump. You're a fucking moron at this point. If you say anything like that, and I'm calling it like it is. Y'all got these well-to-do tap-dancing Negroes, these boot-licking-ass niggas, sit there and manipulate us, play on our emotions to run to the polls so they could use our energy. They're a bunch of fucking vampires. They played their hand. They played their hand. 
They're trying to do everything in their power because that man, Don, not Donald Trump, sorry about that, that man, Joe Biden, is, is going to lose. It looks like he's going to lose. Look what, and this is what I was talking about in my last video. And I showed you the screenshot from Earn Your Leisure, but here's one of the actual articles. It's a short article. These super PAC donors are fed up. They don't want this motherfucker up there. Again, sorry for the profanity. They freezing 90 million in order to try to get him to step down. If it's not a wrap for them, then I don't know what is. The establishment sees it. Hence, that's why I think they sent those alphabet boys after Donald Trump. Now, again, I'm already on record saying Donald Trump is a controlled opposition. I'm already on record saying that Donald Trump made promises that he could not keep. That made him look like he was working with the establishment with the deep state. He is a pawn of Israel. So that's where I'm confused. Why are the alphabet boys truly trying to get him up out of there? Why are the alphabet boys still trying to run smear campaigns on him? When he's already did your bidding. And it's the alphabet boys. Let's be honest. They tried to take that man out. The alphabet boys are good at doing that. I've already told you. They did it to several several presidents. They tried, they tried it with Jimmy Carter. They tried it with Andrew Jackson. They tried it with Ronald Reagan. They were successful with Abraham. They were successful with RFK, JFK. Their descendants, their children, their offspring. They was knocking them off too. So you can't sit there and say that you don't believe this shit because they've already proven it. They will knock you off if you are a threat. So how much of a threat is Donald Trump to the establishment? Y'all think, think Donald Trump had enough power to stage this shit? Nah. They was running smear campaigns on this motherfucker for eight years and still going. Y'all are not listening. Y'all are not paying attention. The left controls the media. Listen. It's not rocket science. It's not hard to understand. They're trying to save Biden's reputation as much as they possibly can. That's why they sat there and they did that speech with Joe Biden, a pre-recorded speech. Why you didn't why you think they didn't let that motherfucker on the stage live like they did at the NATO summit just a few days ago and he embarrassed himself there? You got to start paying attention. Because what's going to happen is you're going to look up and you're going to be replaced. And I'm talking to black people. I'm talking to black people. I'm not talking to the outsiders. I'm not talking to the swirlers.
Y'all are about to be replaced. They already got your replacements here. Now I've already told you about them. They want your asses at the polls. And they trying to do their best to get you there right now. That's why Maxine Waters is showing up at Essence Festival. That's why Kamala Harris is making appearances on BET. They want they Biden blacks back in the back at the polls. They mad disrespectful towards y'all. You saw how Joe Biden sat there and passed that girl up at one of his rallies, that black woman that tried to shake his hand, he blatantly ignored her. One thing dementia is not going to do is make you forget, forget that you're a fucking racist. You're going to revert back to who you were at your most purest form. Y'all not listening. And I don't expect you to. They've been running the okie doke on all you motherfuckers. Every last one. The conservatives. Y'all getting the okie doke ran on y'all. The leftists. Y'all getting the okie doke ran on y'all. Anybody that believe in this fucking system, you getting the okie doke ran on you. You think these politicians is really going to help you? You getting the okie doke ran on you. The Prager you listeners, y'all getting the okie doke ran on you. You don't think they are part of the establishment? You think there's an exemption for them too? The matrix is all around. Neither party gives a shit. But there's something fishy about this shit. There's something fishy about the Donald Trump assassination. That wasn't some random ass kid with social issues getting bullied when he was in high school. That's the alphabet boys. Running another one in their lone wolf scenarios. It was an older lady. If I could find the interview, it was an older lady. Sitting there talking about how. She saw. Or she heard. That there was two shooters. Now, again, I sat there and said on Instagram, you got to be weary of the people that's interviewing because they could be paid crisis actors. Just how they're paid pro protesters. The, the alphabet boys would do any and everything to cover their tracks. And you have to remember that. And I'm telling you, you could think this shit is staged. You can say whatever the fuck you want, okay? It was orchestrated. This It was orchestrated. But it was by those alphabet boys. Y'all better be weary. They playing on y'all emotions again. Black people, they are, they, they're playing on your emotions again. The left has showed their hand once again. They think all niggas get shot at. They think all black people get shot at. They think all black people got trauma with guns and gunfire. Stop letting them play in your face. Stop letting them play in your face. I'm out. All praises due. Thank you for tapping in.